Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today, I'm gonna do this artwork. Okay, so first, let me analyze these photos so you can understand what I'm about to do. As you can see, this is a very simple composition and the main character in this composition is this wooden louver fence. And during the process, we will meet a very common issue called tiling issue and faced by a Corona UV randomizer. And the most beautiful in this photo is double line. So I will show you a very simple technique to create this beautiful effect. And what else? Actually, nothing more. Basically, we will create the concrete material, the concrete pavement, the wooden material, and that's it. So, get started. Okay, here we have a SketchUp file, which is very simple. Just a wall, a gate, and a pavement. So, save as to version 8. Save, yes. And inside three mask import. Yeah, this one. Import. Okay. Now I'm gonna choose a camera. Front perspective. F3. See how. Okay. Something like this one. We a corona camera. And then I'm gonna run a test. So, override a standard corona material to the whole scene. Okay. And camera, highlight compression, 99. Contrast, 4. Okay. I'm gonna create a corona sun. And by the way, at corona sky. Yep, good to go. So run a test to bright. So I may low down this number, negative three for temporarily. Okay. Then next step, I will create the double light effect by very super simple trick. I have here a texture looks like this. Very simple one, just black and white, but super useful. I will show you right now. First, we have to pick the number right here. This one, dimension 20, 37, and 3500. So I'm gonna draw a plan which is exactly that number. The segment 1, 1, okay. Length. Length is, let me remember, 3500. The width, 20, 37. Good to go. I hit F3. So just simply drag and drop this texture. Yep. I will move it up. A bit so we can see clearer okay good to go then we pick this material and convert to corona material then link back this to space color yep now I'm gonna draw a light for the base of corona scatter I'm gonna draw a light Something like this one. Create a corona scatter. Select this line for distribute on object. Select this tree for instant object. And down below from 2D, jump to 1D. Haha. <laughs> Something wrong. Because all of them they are lighting down. Not so well, so 
this is the way to fix it. Select this and reset X from reset selected. And remember to move the pivot point to the bottom. So when you move this pivot point on the scatter, follow along. So that's it. Then all the trees standing too narrow. So we can activate this function avoid collision and I think just keep it like this one. But I would like the tree a bit bigger so down below in transformation scale from 100 to 500 maybe from 300 or 200 okay looks better let's run the test can I see anything Maybe the tree still so small. Ah, this is the correct way. So if you see they are covering the whole world is the correct way. Now, let me move a bit further so you can see what happened. First, we need to exclude this tree from override material. Yep. And then we need to delete the black part of these trees, right? So very simple, just link this to opacity color. Yeah, we got it. Let's see. Exactly. That's it. Maybe a bit more depth of line. So reduce this one down to 70. Better. 60. Looks even better. Perhaps I would like the shadow cover this park. Okay, very nice. <laughs> now we can too much. Okay, increase this one. Just play with the number to find a good number for your case. In my case, this is acceptable to me. Okay, stop. Okay, the next part will be material. Let's see how many material do we have here. One, two, three. So basically, three material, one by one, this one, I'm going to change to corona physical material and link it back. No, I won't use this one. Right here, I have another one, the concrete. So link this one to base color show in viewport too tiny yep too tiny let me open or ungroup okay and apply a uv map box good job but wrong direction my opinion should be horizontal so this more 
and rotate to 90 degrees which direction why looks better this should be the same number 8000 8000 8000 good. good to go okay this is this this field and i'm gonna use a bum map bum base bump a bit bigger okay let's run the test remember to exclude from all right material okay good to go next part this pavement again convert to corona physical material and I will not use it one I have here another concrete so base color too small UV map good job I think it's okay to me maybe a bit Furthermore, let's go and base bump. Hmm. Maybe a bit of reflection is okay. Actually, it's already there. So exclude from our right material. Run a test. Perhaps darker. Even darker. Very good. And the last material. I'm gonna use this one too small for this one actually very simple so I just decrease this number and rotate perhaps lower still not meet my request so even lower okay acceptable but as you can see the tiring issue right there First, let me turn off the override material. Okay, very clear. The tiling issue, very clear. Perhaps I prefer a larger texture. So, link through the Corona UV randomizer and link to base color. In this panel, 100 as usual, 100. 
it was solved. Very good. Perhaps a bit more reflection. Very good. And right here we have another material. Just a bit tiny. Perhaps we can use it, but I would like to convert to Corona physical material. I think that is okay. Then we can improve the graphic a bit more in camera. Enable my precious blood. Polaroid. Beautiful. For this case, the contract should be sick. Even more. The vignette one. Wow, looks very nice. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you can find something useful for your shop in this video. Thank you for watching and see you until the next time. Take care.